losers finals now. We're into our final three. So Taps got all the way to fourth. Congrats to him. And of course, in this first event in the RCS season, Cake and Kusi for second or third. Ethereal Gates as we started off. Is this the first time we've seen this? All, all top eight? As a starter stage, I think it might have been. I think we've seen it maybe once or twice outside of top eight, but it's been a lot of Jules Vale. It's been a lot yeah, of Jules Yeah, 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 yeah. But we saw K Kusi oh, right. at we saw K Kusi at Gamble before. Kusi was able mm -hmm. to do it three two, but Cake's adaption uh, adaptation well, is it, uh, the three two the first time. How'd the other ones go? Uh, uh, uh the Cake won the tournament. Okay, let's just leave yep. it at that. All right, Cake yep, won the tournament. Yep, yep, but yep. Kusi has beaten Cake before. That's the important. Mm -hmm. thing. The important More importantly, thing. too, think about think about a couple seasons ago. This was a online demon for Cake Assault. Kusi won every single time they played. I you just didn't see a player beat Cake like Kusi did. Exactly. And the only person who was beating Kusi at the time was, funnily enough, Penguin. Penguin mm -hmm. actually had an absurd winning record against Kusi. It was but. just this vicious triangle between the three of them where like if somewhere, if someone ended up like if Cake played Penguin, Cake was gonna win. If Penguin played Kusi, Penguin was gonna win. If Kusi played uh, Cake, Kusi was gonna win. Just over and over again. How did the seeding break down for these players? It was basically just any collection of one, two, three, and I mean, then there was Zaro, you know, coming in every now and again. There was a uh, Sego coming in every now and true, again. True, true. We, we we had we had a few names, but like though these three were like some of the big ones that everyone was expecting, you know, for good reason, obviously. Oh no, gets hit off stage right now. 104% these two have been neck and neck doesn't go for the bash off of that nair that looked like it was prime bash There it is Yeah, asking you shall receive Akashi. That's stock one there for Kusi. Great play and see how long you hold on to this stock There it is. I I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, you know asking you shall receive I think you said right and in this yeah, case yeah, yeah. Just dogs a piece and Cake was like ah, oh, thank you for coming at me within seconds of each other and now Cake gets his first interaction win. Can he get it a little bit of extra percent? Evens this back up immediately, Akashi. Immediately. Cake has just been getting bullied to the left and to the right, off stage time and time again. And Gucci's not giving Cake an easy ride back onto stage. Not not oh. even back to center. Oh my god. I'll be honest, when when Cake fell with the back air there, I don't know if the sign off the side was the right choice because you gave him the tech back onto the stage. I think Gucci could have bumped it a little bit better and just kind of waited. It you know, feels no like no foul. You're still winning, but like just different, like minor things, right? I know. I do agree. I do agree in this case because you don't want to give your opponent the, the wall tech if you can if you can help it. Because the main thing is that you've already got them off stage. And Forsberg is a character that once they get on stage or once they're able to sneak their way back on, something like that can happen. And if you can prevent that in any way, shape, or form, you want to do that. But at, at, either way, we're at last stock of peace right now. There's so many times where Cake Assault is just the Michael Myers of rivals, right? Where just unkillable machine coming down and just getting that hit, sneaking past, finding that stock. But is Kusi ready to be Jamie Lee Curtis? Can she defeat the evil? I or can he what? defeat the evil? I, I went too far with the analogy. Excuse me. My brain's <laughs> in a different place. But you're good. You're what, good. I, We're seeing Cake play super hot, though. We're seeing him do these tiny little adjustments on his stalling. We're seeing him DI out on all these nares despite the high percent and how scary it might be with no resources. Speaking up of air, resources, up air, up air, up air. Not gonna kill just yet, but only has the double jump to really work with. God, oh, how many times, how many times the classroom oh. just like, ah, there's the clone and it's in its cake. It, it's been too many times, I tell you, but Kusi knows which one is the real one, gets the parry on the downer, and gets the up strong to take the first game. Cake was almost bringing that back. You saw he was looking for some kind of way to get a cheeky little conversion, like a downer, or maybe even an up air, take out that yeah. stock at like a really early percent, and clinch out the game. But Kusi adapted and said, no, I know I know it's you. I know it's you. Your, your dash dance is a little funky, you know? Yeah, it's just it's calling out those moments. That's what matters right now. Calling out those moments where you can kind of take that advantage. And Kusi did it a little bit more than Cake in that first game. Cake taking it over to Fire Capital for the second game. How does he respond? Can Kusi stop Cake before Cake gets going in losers finals? It see I mean the the threat of losers cake has been a tale as old as time. And 
I don't know. I feel like Kusi might be one of the people who can actually go toe to toe with Lucy's cake. Well, if you, don't let him, if you don't let him win a game, you can't worry about losing the set. So that's got to be the mindset going in here to game two. And, and honestly, decent start so far, right? You're kind of controlling pace. You're controlling center. And then Cake just sneaks right past you. It's you got to lock it down. We're seeing a lot of really intense neutral. Yeah, no, uh, no real hard hits right now. Just solid little conversions where we get the chance and positional advantage where... Uh, where it allows. So we're getting an oh lean too far in on that one. That's so unfortunate for Kusi. Because now up air back and leaning is gonna... too far out on that back here. Yeah, again, lightweights when they lean out on a strong move, it's just a good night, Irene, you know? Man, that was crazy. Cake Assault was in the middle of recovering and Kusi just said, Alright, you got too much milk. I'm going back to center. See you when you get back. <laughs> he said he didn't want to deal with it. Look at all this smoke that's like basically just free positioning. Like yeah, yeah, any, yeah. You don't hear any text sounds. At any sounds. point, you can pop a, you can pull a clone. You can up be around if you want to as well. I mean, that's tough for already clear. Oh, great drift back there, but triple up here is gonna do it off the side. Fifty-seven percent on Ori may as well be like a hundred. You know, you're one, you're one or two good hits away from clearing out the stock, and any trade is gonna definitely benefit you, especially Ooh, if it's a twelve percent counter guy. like that. Yeah. Oh, no tech is so smart from Kusi there. Yeah, sometimes the best option is no option, right? Yeah, because you saw Cake wanted the down strong, like, immediately. Like, he ripped it like he knew Kusi was going to tech. But Kusi said, no, I have adapted. I've improvised. I've overcome. Right now, Cake is up a stock, so it's going to be a big mountain to climb. Cake is up a stock on a stage like Fire Capital 2, man. I, This is always tough for anybody to do. Exactly. It, it, if it was tough before on a normal stage, on a larger stage like Fire Capital, it, it is it is a mountain. All oh, the, the up tilt doesn't go with the finishers. Yep, 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 yep. Just gets that extra little bit. You said it. The loops, right? Yeah. The uh, the 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 cape loops. The up tilt into up strong into up tilt. Dragging him over to the platform where he knew up strong was probably going to be more consistent. So he could guarantee that the uh, that the dagger was going to connect and clinch it out. And I mean, worst case scenario, even if it doesn't work, he still gets like forty semi percent out of it. You know, right? Yeah, you're just adding and adding and adding and adding. And you know, it's one of those things for for a player like Cake. You know, the closer you get, the more he starts to lean in a little bit. And you know, it's it's imperative that Kusi answer back quickly here. We do see the comfort pick, the Jules Veil coming up for game three see if they can force uh, advantage in game four and of course in the pivotal game five or does cake continue their strength right now we're gonna find out here in just a second because it looks like cake starting to turn on the afterburners like he did before a lot stronger combo starters 63 and counting oh my oh two for flinching but it doesn't kill just yet that Never one will. Mind. That one will. <laughs> and that's because of the smoke on the stage. He took. He had three clouds. He had three little puffs of smoke on the stage, and that was all he needed to just reposition stealthily and just clean up with a strong back air. And now, uh -oh. yep. Oh, here we go again. Oh man, I thought he was gonna land on the the top plat there. Oh, you see, he knows that Chris is gonna tech off of these spikes. Okay. He, call, he called okay. up the dash tag too. This is messed up. Called out the dash tag and just was unfortunately just barely unable to uh, get the parry. But oh, down from two stocks in 55 seconds. Man, sometimes Cakes just beat your ass. It happens. It happens to the best of us. And Goosey is one of the best of us. It, it, it's true. Yeah. Oh, the bounce off of the platform actually saving Cake from dying to the bash. Gonna come back here. Yep. Oh no, these jabs are doing so much! Every hit just tacks on so much percent! Baits out the double jump there too. Man, Akashi, Cake is all just fun to watch sometimes, brother. Oh, absolutely. He makes this game look so incredible. All the sour back there! And, and just flinching in the middle of the screen too, trying to find a stock. I feel like Cake's having a little bit too much fun right now. A three stock! Game three response. Mm. With the turnaround pivot wave slide, smoke inhalation, a little bit of flash. Yeah, I understood everything you just said there. 
I was saying <laughs> words. I thought it, it made sense in my brain. I, no, as it, I watched it, made it I was sense. like, these are the things. It, it made sense because I thought to myself, I'm like, wait, is that what it's called? Because like, no, no, I, I, I can almost guarantee you that's not what it's called, but it sounded cool. It did sound cool. We're going to see if Kuzi can maybe get himself back rolling into some momentum in game number four here on Treetop. A dangerous-ish counter pick. Because again, like, you can't really run from Cake. You can't play neutral as much on a stage like this, you know? There's not, there's not a whole lot of stage to really, like, dash dance or play neutral with. You kind of just right. go at each other. Yeah, this is, this is, you're in the basement with Michael Myers. Like, you have to find your way out in a hurry or else stuff like that happens and you have 12% back airs just coming at you. Oh, oh no, and unfortunately missed on the back air, but like you said, this is, this is sort of like the, uh, the grand, the, the, the big climax of the movie, so to speak. Yep. Like, you're, you're, you're fighting them. You're fighting the beast. You gotta, you gotta be able to win. Otherwise, uh, it's over. And time and time again, there's a reason there's been 14 Halloween movies at this point, and it's right. just like this. Back air off the top again, only 48% on Cake Assault. This is looking rough for Kusi right now. Cake is just out maneuvering right now, just using such great fundamental movement to get outside of Kusi's fed zone, get out of the range of the forward air, and just punish every time. Clean. Yeah, I mean, we, we talk about the combos, we talk about the adaption, but sometimes it's just the movement that you can marvel at when you watch Cake Assault play. The way that he is frames away with the jab or the down tilt, I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful gameplay. It really is. I love, I love that even though the downer got parried, he still drifted in because the sign pop put him out of parry stun and let him escape a potential stock loss and keeps him in his first stock and getting this extra damage right now. Man, Kusi's trying so hard to find this, but that's going to be up to do it there. But man, this is tough, right? 73% on the second stock and he just haven't been able to find footing. Man, look at that. Look at that. Seconds in with that bolt just covered in smoke. On 112% right now, you you know that Cake is going to be looking for any, like, Cape setup, but no, it gets the turnaround back or off the platform, and suddenly Kus is on potential tournament stock right now. Be curious to see if he pops the smoke up into one of the corners again to kind of have a escape route. Does he keep the combust on deck? This feels like a, I'm going to use combust in neutral kind of game, but oh, there goes the clouds. But yeah, you got to in that position, right? Yeah, and that's why you want to be able to. Otherwise, you might just lose the stock for it. And there goes the entire lead that you've kind of like meticulously spent trying to get going. All right, not gonna, be able to, not gonna be able to get the third one. Cake putting smoke up high so he can get himself some nice distance. But Bash is gonna do it off of the air. Who's he feeling confident a little bit? Last stock, game number four, but potentially Kusi's tournament stock. That was scary. Yeah. Listen, one percent at a time. That's how you make this back. Five percent is a start. Oh, what attack! What and attack. it doesn't matter because you get downstormed anyways. I think I got a marvel at the fact that even with he sent the clone down to yep. pop Kusi up into the first down strong, and when that whiffed, he got the second one. That is insane. Cake takes it 3-1 over Kusi and moves into Grand Finals to get the run back versus ZB. Man, that's that was sick. That was incredible. That was sick. Like, like Kusi has is... played so well this entire tournament. And then you, you talked about the last set, right? Cake just puts the Jets on. I mean, you're just, you just get scorched sometimes. You, yeah, it's got so it. hard to figure out this player. Yeah, Kuzi got incinerated, unfortunately, there. I, I think that the restock in Game 3 kind of showed us that there's never a time where Cake is down and out for sure, you know? No. there's all He's always able to just kind of go back and just be like, all right, I'm just going to win now. That's just what I'm going to do. I've been doing it since, like, 2016. That's just a thing yeah. that I do, you know? Sometimes you're the main character, right? You know, sometimes you've got the plot armor. It's just time and time and time again. And now, Stan ZB, who 